Good Saturday morning, everybody. Uh, sorry I wasn't uh, here earlier, but um, sometimes, sometimes, guys, it's not always possible for a person to start the commentary at the very beginning. Sometimes there are guests in the booth with you who just don't understand what the red light means. But don't you worry. She's put her pants back on and she has been she has been punished. She won't do it again. Your mother and I are Go away. Because of what we are. You know what? I'm going to take a sip of this and when I'm done, you'll be better. Um this cartoon, the first time I saw this cartoon would have been probably 1986, 1986 or 1987, when I saw a little film called Bugs Bunny Superstar, a, uh, a, cart, uh, a movie that um, a lot of people, and I don't know why they do this, but a lot of people claimed was Bob Clampett's attempt at uh, revisionist history. You know what I just realized? This is the first cartoon. This is the first cartoon by McKimson that I've done in months. I've just, you know, I, I did, um, I did a bunch of requests, and then I took a break from the requests. And what's wrong? Do you guys, do you guys not like McKimson? I mean, I, I mean, I don't, I don't begrudge that, but it's like. How do you like how do you like Frizz more than McKimson? I don't get it. But this um by the way, um if you want if if you want to see something pretty cool, if you like uh the Bugs Bunny Superstar movie, uh watch it on uh YouTube. If you watch it on YouTube, they've got uh the cartoons they've got the, the the newer versions you know that are that have been restored i remember this cartoon looked pretty muddy when it uh, when it was on, you know the, when i originally saw it it was just like it was just like different different uh, you know everything was just like a different shade of brown That thing though, when he's um, when he's doing the horse impression, and he's got the, uh, he puts one uh, finger on his nose like that. That's actually how Mel Blank would do it when uh, whenever he impersonated a horse, he would blow through uh, one nostril. For all of those uh, you guys out there that uh, that obsess over the uh, the title cards, let me just uh, let me just say for the record, since I know that's what you want me to do, that this is the only uh, Foghorn Leghorn cartoon that um, that I think got the blue ribbon treatment. I know that's the it's definitely the version that shows up on the. Uh, the DVD. Also, uh, if you um, if you can find them, they're pretty rare. But if you can find them, I think somewhere there's a lobby card or a poster for this cartoon that says uh, a Looney Tune cartoon on it, even though it's a Merry Melody. Oh, you know what I should do? Well, I got you guys here. Let me look up uh, Senator Claghorn. Senator Claghorn is the is the uh, character who um, that saying you know it's a joke son. It's a uh, um, it's from the Fred Allen radio show. Let's see if we can. Uh... Since when do we have to import our apples from foreign places? Ah, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Born and bred in the South, 
but Mr. Claghorn, I have to get my apples from someplace and they grow up north. Then something's got to be done about it. Well, speaking in general, our grant. Don't ever mention that name in my presence. Oh, it doesn't mean nothing. But what can we do, Mr. Claghorn? Eliminate the north. Make the whole country sound. Can't we could call these apples Southern Spire. Hey, you. Claghorn's the name. Beauregard Claghorn, that is. Howdy. Now, son, in my plan, you simply move the Mason-Dixon line up around the Great Lake. Make Canada and all. Mr. Claghorn. And after that, anyone who couldn't talk with a southern drawl would have to get a passport. But what about our maps, Mr. Claghorn? Maps? Did you ever look at the map? You notice how all the rivers flow south? Well, that's only because of the shape of the earth. Nonsense, son. It's because I can't stand it up north. Claghorn, you're wasting our time. And speaking of maps, you know, we got two states down here, South Carolina and North Carolina. North By the way, um... He, uh, Senator Claghorn is apparently a flat earther. Uh, but yeah, Senator Claghorn, you know, he was uh, originally played by uh, Kenny Delmar, was the name of the character, was the name of the actor who uh, originated the character. And that's why it's always funny to me, to me whenever you hear Mel Blanc say that he didn't do impressions, because as you heard right there, you know, not only is it's a joke, son. A reference to Senator Claghorn, but the name Foghorn Leghorn is a reference to Claghorn as well. So Mel is clearly doing an impression of uh, Kenny Delmar's uh, Senator Claghorn, but he's he's not doing a dead-on thing. He's making it his own, which is what Mel does. He makes it his own, and we love him for it. And I love you guys for sitting in with me this week. So much so that I'll see you next week. <laughs>